Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we'll find out how to have multiple hero images and randomize displaying them with the help of MB views from Metabox. As usual, each site has only one hero image. Then every visitor will see the same image as well as the same tagline and information on the hero section. To change this boredom, or just want to use the hero section to showcase some prominent campaigns, you may have multiple sets of images and information on this section, then display them randomly. The MB Views extension can help to do that easily. This is a set that I mentioned, including the image as the background, a tagline, and a short description. I'm creating some sets like this, saving them all in custom fields in a settings page. Then, use MB views to display them on the home page. Let's see which tools we need for this practice. First, we need the Metabox plugin to have a framework to create a settings page and custom fields for the hero section. You can download it directly from wordpress.org. We also need some Metabox extensions to have some advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all in one. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. MB Settings Page. It allows you to create a settings page to input hero image and other information. MB Views. To get data from custom fields and display them on the home page as the hero section. Metabox Builder. To have a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. Please pay heed that we use MB Views to create the hero section. So you can build the page with MB Views, Gutenberg, or any other page builder, any other way you like. It does not matter. That's all. Let's go ahead. We'll use a settings page to include all the content of the hero section, including the images. Just go to Meta Box, Settings Page, and create a new one. There is no need for special settings for it in this practice. After publishing, you can see a new settings page appears here. We've just initialized the page, so it still is blank now. We'll move to create some custom fields for this settings page in the next step. Each set displaying on the hero section will be saved in a clonable group with some subfields inside. Apart from setting the group as clonable, there is no special setting for all of these fields. Move to the custom fields in Metabox to create it. For the settings of this group, we should set this group to be collapsible to see the content more tidy. You also can add the title for the group. This is to number the set of the hero image. And finally, turn on this option to set it clonable. This is the most pivotal setting. Now, add some subfields. They will be used to save the images, taglines, and the subtitles, so just choose the reasonable field types for them. We have no requests for them in this practice, so keep their settings as default. After having all the fields, Move to the Settings tab, set the location as Settings Page, and choose the created Settings Page to apply custom fields to it. Now, the custom fields are ready on the Settings Page, so you can start adding hero images and other content. Click on the Add More button to add another set of the hero image and content. In the next step, we're going to use MB views to get and display this data. Go to Metabox, Views, and create a new view. To get data from the custom fields, 
click on this button and look for any custom field we want from the list. Since the fields in this case are on a settings page, we should look for it in the site tab. This is the group that we created. Once we click on it, some lines of code will be generated in the template section. There is this line of code because the group field is on a settings page. This is the ID of the settings page. Since the group is clonable, there is also a loop to get full of the data of that group. This is the ID of the group field that we created. Just choose a subfield of the group from the list to insert them into the loop as usual. This is the set of the script that we used to use to display the data from custom fields. Move to the settings of the view. There are some options to choose from, but I prefer the default one to set this template in the kind of a shortcode. Then go to the home page. Embed the shortcode to any place. All the images and content of all sets that I input to the fields are displayed. However, we need only one set display at once. So, we should customize the template a little bit more to choose randomly which data will be displayed. Each set of the hero image and content is a group. You can imagine that their data will be an array like this. And the group is clonable, so the data will be an array like this. The loop is to get and display all the data from this array. It means all sets of the hero image and content. But, we need only one of them for each appearance. So, only one associative array here will be obtained. Pay heed that each associative array here has its own order number. We'll use it to choose which one will be displayed. Then, remove the loop. And, add another line like this to create a variable. This is the ID of the group field. This is a function in PHP to randomly choose an item number of the group field. It returns the order number of an associative array. That's I mentioned. Now, custom this line to change the output of the image. As well as, replace the prefix with the name of the created variable. It helps to return only the image which is in the corresponding array. Also change the prefix for the title and subtitle. Go to the home page. You will see that only one set of the hero image will be displayed at once. When we refresh the page, another set will be there instead. There is a point here that I turned the image to its URL, since I will make it to be the background for this section in the next step. Go back to the view to edit the template once again. I'm adding some div tags and classes for the content, as well as turning the image to the background. Move to the CSS tab, add style for them all. Back to the home page, there will be a new look of the hero section. Just refresh the page for several times, you will see the picture change along with the title and subtitle. That's all for this practice. Do you see it helpful for you? Just leave us some feedback in the comment section. If you want to try some other interesting things, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.